Hey guys, welcome to this exciting new video for the Redmi K20 Pro in which we are going to talk about overclocking the display and yeah, that is a debatable topic. So we are talking about Marissa kernel once again, which is supported on MIUI ROMs. But before we get into the details of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, now before we actually begin this particular video, let me give you a clear and precise disclaimer. This video that you're seeing over here is for educational purposes only. This involves overclocking your display or overclocking any part of your phone is for entertainment and educational purpose. If you do it, it's completely up to you. It is your own risk. Nobody's going to support you if you damage your device. I have tried a ton of things. I've never damaged my device. So even if you wish to take the risk, remember this is a calculated risk with that said do it at your own risk so there is a new version of marissa available which is version 3 and this is miui only as always introduce a simple low memory killer to replace android lmk that is the old one enable use of arm version 8.1 lse atomic instructions extend frame rate override to 81 84 and 90 all right now 90 is for another device it is not for rafael i've tested 81 and in front of the camera i'm going to test 84 and 90 to demonstrate it to you guys that if you go to 90 what worst can happen right so we will do that 81 84 90 we're going to try all three of those introduce kcal color control that is because you get this weird tint issue whenever you overclock your display so you can go ahead and fix that using that features we have introduce short circuit for fuse from oneplus support zram right back enable to disable f-sync safely enabled by default and then you have more stuff that is changed now rafael is our device cepheus is another device right now let me tell you the prerequisites first and foremost you should be on a miui rom you need to have a unlocked bootloader and twrp installed make sure you have more than 50 percent battery and then what you need to do is you need to go to this channel and download marissa kernel right so let's wait for it to download let's actually save it to downloads now it is saved now before flashing this kernel you need to have majesk so if you don't want root access well you can't have marissa to be very very frank because as you can see over here i do have majesk installed so as i said you will need majesk and we will go ahead and flash majesk and then the kernel right so if we actually go to the file manager over here and if you go to storage you see i have majesk apk this is the marissa kernel zip that we have recently downloaded by default marissa kernel will give you 60 hertz if you want say 81 84 you want to you know go ahead and rename now in this case we are doing an experiment we'll try if 90 hertz works so go to any of your file managers of your choice rename this file and just before the dot zip put a dash or a minus sign and type in dash say 84 or say dash 90 hz dot zip now remember i'm doing this as an experiment 90 hertz is not supported on our device and you will see why and later we will try 81 and 84 as well right now it is on the stock perf kernel with 60 hertz now we have majisk downloaded and we have marissa kernel set to 90 hertz so we will now boot into twrp or orange fox recovery whichever you use so let's go to recovery mode now all right now before you flash anything you need to back up two important parts so go to this backup menu select the plus sign and select boot and dtbo these two are the files that you need to back up before you flash marissa so go ahead and swipe to backup and remember this will only work on miui roms okay now go back to the main screen and first flash majisk okay now as you can see majisk is installed now go to the download folder you see this this is how you rename dash 90 hertz select this swipe to confirm flash setting 90 hertz refresh rate I've tried this earlier, it will not work on Rafael, but let's give it a try once again, just to show you guys, so that you guys don't take the risk of risking your device and, uh, you know, flashing 90 Hertz on it. We will also try 81 and 84 and see how good or bad the results are. 
Okay, now we've booted, right? So let's see if FOD works. Okay, FOD is working absolutely fine. So let's go to settings. I can already feel the UI is stuttery, right? That is the reason 90 Hertz doesn't work. So go to more, go to developer options and look for show refresh rate. There you go. Now it does say that it is running at 90 Hertz right now, but I don't see the smoothness. So what we're going to do is we'll go to UFO test. There you go. See this? That is the reason the stutteriness is there. So that means 90 Hertz at least on K20 Pro is not working. So we'll try 84 now. I'll show you the steps once again. So you need to go to file manager. Okay. Go to storage, locate your kernel file press and hold on it more rename let's set this to 84 okay now reboot to twrp or orange fox all right now once you've flashed matches successfully you don't need to go ahead and do that again and again okay all right now go to download you see we've renamed this to 84 swipe to confirm flash Setting 84 Hertz refresh rate. Okay, reboot. Now, this is a trial and error thing. 81 Hertz, 84 Hertz is, are the two refresh rates that are working. I've checked 81. I'm testing 84. 81 definitely works. You can definitely go ahead and try 81. And you can uh, use Game Unlocker Magis module to unlock 90 FPS and you will still get more than 70 fps in most roms which is a significant uh, gaming performance improvement okay now let's see if fod works okay fod works okay i definitely feel this is smoother there you go 84 hertz let's go to chrome now see what mr chrome has to say no so even 84 is not working now the last step we will re we will reinstall the kernel with 81 hertz and that will definitely work because that i have tried so let's go to download press and hold more rename change 81 to 84 to 81 reboot once you are back into recovery install the kernel go to download 81 hertz swipe to confirm flash reboot system now yep this is definitely smoother as you can see this is definitely giving us true 81 hertz so let's go to developer options once again let's look for show refresh rate option there you go so 81 hertz let's see what mr chrome has to say Okay, this looks promising. As you can see, right off the bat, 78, 79, 80, 81. So it's definitely giving you 81 FPS. And let's have a look at the display settings over here. Uh, as of now, at least, I don't see any tint. So if I actually go to color scheme over here, saturated, let's put it to saturated. I don't see any flickers, any issues with the display, no problem whatsoever. It's very close to a 90 Hertz display. That's how smooth this is. And it allow you to do high refresh rate gaming as well. Although do remember, you do this at your own risk. If your battery health is not good, like if your device is more than two years old, you will have a like sort of bad battery backup because you are asking the screen to refresh more times than it was doing earlier, almost 20%, you know, 10 to 20% faster. So, but I'll tell you this, the screen is butter smooth. I can definitely tell you this and i'm not having any issues at all but you can give it a try if you have a tint issue you can go ahead and you know use the kcal calibration to make changes to the tint and get it working right so all in all this was the experiment this is where you come to know how to put 81 hertz refresh rate on the latest abix rog mi ui 12.5 5.5 stable or any mi ui rom even the stock mi ui or xiaomi.eu this kernel gives you decent performance let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video 
Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.